Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, oh, I let me tell you guys, I am in love with this set. Let me just show you guys this dish towel. Okay, so what it is, is a kitchen set slash bathroom set. And the reason I say this is because I just think this is so pretty and elegant, it's gonna look great in a bathroom. And not only is it because of the stitch pattern, it's the yarn. And I'm sorry, something is going on with with my camera and I'm not 100% sure what's happening. Okay, so anyhow, what we have here is a beautiful dish towel or bathroom towel and a two wash rag set. So what we're gonna do, in today's tutorial, we're gonna make this little one here, but I'm gonna tell you guys how to make these. It's the exact same thing that we're gonna do for this little one, okay? But let's talk about what you're gonna need. You are gonna need, and this is what I have left after making all three, and I wanna say thanks to my friend Gail um, she walked me through my yarn chicken. <laughs> she helped me through my yarn chicken. Worst game ever. Okay, so what you need. Three skeins of 24-7 cotton. It is a four-weight, 100% mercerized cotton, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, 186 yards or 170 meters. And I use the color lilac. And it's made in Mexico. That's cool. I didn't know that. But wow, is this, this, I cannot stop gushing about this yarn. This yarn is amazing. Um, I do have a question for any of you that know, is this yarn intended for garments or intended for wearables? Because it is nice. And that's almost, that's kind of why I, I think I'm going to give this to my sister as a bathroom set because this would be perfect to scrub your face with and she always washes her face she don't wash her face in the shower she washes in the sink and she loves these little wash rags but anyway um so let me know if it's if it's a naturally or i mean not naturally if it's originally supposed to be used for garments i don't care <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna stock up on this and i am gonna use it for all of my dish sets now because these are dish slash bathroom sets because it is just it is amazing I love this cotton okay that's enough I'm gonna stop gushing about it let's talk about what we got here so what we have is a big towel and my towel is measuring with the little the border we got going around it 21 and a half inches long by 15 and a half inches wide and then my my bigger wash rag is da, 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 da. oh eight and a quarter just a I wish I knew the dashes on a dang tape measure better. What is that? It's just shy of eight and a half. How about just shy? That works. That's a measurement, right? And just shy of eight or seven and three quarters. Okay, so this is the larger wash rag, and then this little bitty one, well, I shouldn't say little bitty, it's not little bitty, it's it's smaller. It measures seven by six and a half. But they are adorable. I, oh, I just, I'm so happy with this set, I can't wait to give it to my sister. And it's nice and heavy. Super happy. All right, so get you three skeins of that. Put my tape measure up. Okay, then you're gonna need a four millimeter crochet hook. Get you your scissors, your yarn needle, and then you're gonna need four stitch markers or four things for whatever that you use to mark your stitches, okay? And the reason I, I, like most of the times I tell you guys that your stitch markers are optional, but this time I really want you guys to have something to mark four stitches. Because what we're going to do is we work an edging row and then we, we're going to mark all four of our corners. So we don't even have to mess with it. We don't have to look and pick through everything to find our four stitches. We're going to mark them and be done and ready to go. And then we just double crochet along, Okay. And so get your four stitch markers, and that is it. That is it. So get these supplies together, and before we get started, I want to tell you the stitch count. So 
get this laid right. Can you can you hear how heavy that is? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so the chain multiple for this pattern is any multiple of eight, 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 eight plus two. So for instance, the chain count on this dish towel is eight times 10. So 80 plus two. So eight, 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 eight plus two. So chain 82 for your dish towel, unless you want it to be bigger. You guys chain any multiple, multiple of eight and add two. All right. So for my dish towel, I chained 82. For my bigger wash rag, I chained uh, 42. And then for my little my little sampler size dish rag or wash rag, I chained uh, for uh, blah, 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 34. So I chained eight times one, two, three, four, 32 plus my two, 34. So I chained a total of 34 for the little set. All right. But like I said, the chain multiple is any multiple of eight plus two. So you can make it the set or, uh, you know, anything you want to, you can make it that I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> so you can chain any multiple to make anything as big as or as small as you want to. Okay. All right. So get your chain done and we, I'm going to make a little sample for the tutorial. Okay. But everything is exactly the same. You're for, to the, from the little wash rag to the big old dish towel. It's the exact same pattern. Okay. So get your supplies together, get your chain ready and let's get started. Alrighty, so to get started, now like I said, your wash rag, you can chain 42, and there's that's my wash rag, and your dish towel, you can chain 82, and the stitch multiple, or the chain multiple, is any multiple of 8, so 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, then add 2, so any multiple of 8 plus 2. Now, since I've got my wash rag and my dish towel done, I'm actually, I'm just going to do a little, um, a little swatch for you guys so if you want to make the dish towel the dish rag <laughs> if you want to make the wash rag chain 42 if you want to make the dish towel chain 82 so I'm gonna get a little chain of uh, multiples of 8 plus 2 and I'll be right back okay so I've got a little sample chain here and row 1 we're gonna single crochet in the second chain so you can see the first chain. Here's the second chain. We're going to work one single crochet into there. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. And we're going to skip three chains. So you can see right there is where we just worked our single crochet into. So now we need to skip three. So I'm just going to hold that one and count one, two, three. And I'm going to grab the next one. Into the next, we're going to work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Now what I'm doing is I'm pinching the bottom of this chain right here. See how it got real big working into that? What I'm doing is I'm pinching that while I work so I don't lose that very next chain because it's super easy to get this all stretched out and then you can't see where your next chain is and you end up skipping two or you end up skipping you end up skipping way more than you're supposed to because you can't see that you're counting that chain right there so when you work into that chain with the five double pinch the bottom of it so you can keep the shape of this that next chain so you know where the next one is to skip okay so we worked our five double now what we're gonna do is skip three. So one, two, three, and into the next, we're gonna work a single crochet. So I'm just gonna hold that next chain and single. All right, so the pattern repeat for row one is chain two, skip three, one, two, three, into the next five double crochet. Remember, hold the bottom of that so you don't lose that next that next chain. One, two, three, four, 
and five. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three, into the next with a single. And that's the end of the repeat. So the repeat is chain two, skip three, five double crochet. Skip three, single into the next. Chain two, skip three, five double crochet. Skip three, single crochet into the next. Chain two, skip three, five double into the next. Skip three, single crochet into the next. Chain two, get some slack here. Chain two, skip three, five double crochet into the next. Hold on to that chain and work your five double in there. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three, one, two, three, single into the next. Chain two, skip three, five double into the next. One, two, three, four, five, skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the last chain. I had a sneezing fit before I started filming and my nose is running so um, I'm not gonna move on any in my work I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm about said thought I'm gonna pause this and blow my nose real quick so I'm not sniffling in the video I'll be right back okay sorry about that I know that was just that was a weird timing but I I can't stand sniffling so I'm I was like I've got to stop and blow my nose all right so the pattern repeat for row one is that single chain two skip three five double crochet into the next skip three single into the next and the repeat again chain two skip three five double into the next chain skip another three single into the next and you repeat that over and over and over and over across your chain until you come to the end and you're gonna end with the five double crochet and then skip three and single crochet into the last chain all right, so that is row one. So get your row one done and come back here and we're gonna move on to row two, which is the first row of our two row repeat. And just getting comfortable here. Row two, we're gonna start with chaining one and turn. All right, we are going to work four double crochet into that first single crochet right there. See the hole right there? We're gonna work four double crochet right into there. So yarn over, one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop and mark that first double. You don't have to mark it, I just, I choose to mark it so I don't get lost. All right, so that was one, two, three, and four. All right, now what we're gonna do is single crochet into the uh, fourth double crochet from us. So that's one, two, three, and the fourth double right in there. But what I like to do is instead of counting those four, I just come to the end of this, these, I'm gonna call this a shell. I just come to the end of the shell. There's the fifth and right, the very next one is the fourth. So it, it, to me, it's just easier to, my cats are fighting. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, to me, it's just easier instead of counting the three that we need to skip to single crochet into the fourth, just to come to the end of the shell right here. Here's the last double crochet, very next one right in there is the fourth one that we got to work into. So e either way that you want to lurk, look at it, I about said lurk, either way you want to look at it, we need to either skip three, single crochet into the next, or just come over here, come to this end of the shell, find your 
last double crochet, come in one. So however you want to look at it, skip three double, single crochet into the next. Now we're going to chain two, and this is going to, uh, not that chain two, but what we're going to start right now is the pattern repeat for the row, okay, for row two. We are going to work five double crochet into that single crochet right there. See, here's our chain, here's our chain two right there, and then right in here is that single crochet. So if you give it just a little bit of a pull, you can see it right there. We need to work five double crochet into there. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we skip three, single crochet into the next, or just come over here, grab that last, right there's your next, and chain two. And start the repeat over. Five double crochet into that single. Two, three, four, and five. Skip the next three double crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet into the next. And chain two. So the repeat for row two, you work the five double crochet, skip three double, single crochet into the next, chain two. Five double, skip three double. Well, I, what I should say, I should stop shortening what I'm trying to say. You work the five double crochet into the single, skip three double, single into the next, chain two. Five double into the single, skip three, single into the next, chain two. Five double into the next single, skip three double, single into the next, chain two. Five double into the next, into the next single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, Skip the next three double, one, two, three, into the next with a single, chain two. And you repeat that over and over and over for row two. And to, to end row two, you're gonna end with single crocheting into the fourth double crochet of the last five double. So you skip your three, into the next is the fourth. Then you chain two. And we're gonna come right over to this single crochet right here, which it may be a bit of a pain in the butt to see. But if you if you count, if you work backwards, so here's your last double, here's our chain two. So that lets us know that this little bitty stitch right there is that single crochet that we need to work into. And if you can't see it, I mean just kind of hold your instead of holding your work like this to try to find it, hold your work like this, and what you should see is a double, two chains and then that single crochet right there that we need to work into, okay? So right into that last chain, we're gonna work two double crochet. So one and two, all right? And that was the end of row two. And the row two is the first row of our two row repeat. So to move on to row three, we are going to chain one and turn. And to start row three, we are going to single crochet right into that very first double crochet right there. See the top of it open right there? We're gonna single crochet right into that, just like that. And now we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna come over to that single crochet right there. So if you separate your work a little, you can see your chain, your single right there. We're gonna work five double crochet into that. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna skip three, one, two, three, and then single into the next. Okay, so the pattern repeat for row three, 
So single crochet into that double, chain two, five double crochet into that sh uh, single crochet. Did I say that right? Five double crochet into that single crochet. Two, three, four, and five. Skip three double, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next. So the repeat is that single, chain two, five double into the single. One, oops, two, three, four, five. Start the repeat again. Single crochet, well, skip three, single crochet into the next, chain two, five double crochet into the next single. Mess that up. And that is what you will repeat across row two. Single, I can't, I can't say that and do this at the same time. Just let me finish this, there we go. Okay, so the repeat for row three is the single, chain two, five double into the single crochet, skip three, Start it over again. Single into the next, chain two, five double crochet into the single crochet. Start the repeat over again. S skip your three. Single crochet into the next, chain two, five double crochet. Work that over and over and over all across row two. And to end row three, we are going to skip one, two, three double crochet and single crochet into that last double crochet. just like that. And that is the repeat. So to work our repeat again, we work row two and three. So we work two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, over and over and over and over again. And that is how we are going to get the, the pattern for the uh, wash rag and the dish towel. Um, I am just gonna have you guys rewind the uh, video to uh, rewatch row two. Basically the only difference is, is row two, so you would chain one, turn your work. Row two starts with four double crochet into that first single. Then you skip your three, single crochet into the fourth, chain uh, chain two, five double into the chain, or to the single crochet. Skip three, single into the next, chain two, five double into the single. Skip three, single, crochet into the next, chain two, five double into the single crochet. Work that all across, single crochet, you're gonna end in that last five double crochet, you're gonna single crochet into the fourth uh, double crochet, chain two, and you end row two with two double crochet into that last single. And then to move on to row three, chain one and turn, and you work a single crochet into that very first double crochet chain two, come to your single crochet, work your five double crochet. Skip three, single crochet into the fourth. Chain two, five double into the single crochet. Skip three, single crochet into that fourth one. Chain two, five double into the single, and just repeat that across, and you're gonna end with five double crochet into that last single crochet, and come right over to that very last stitch and you're gonna work one single crochet into there. And you just repeat that and repeat that. So what I have here, for my wash rag, I worked, and I'm just gonna call these shell sets. Can you see the shell set? You have one to the back and, well, let me show you. Can you, uh, can you see how they lay? Like one shell is more upright. Like focus back here. Like one shell is up and one is down. Can you see how one stays up and one stays down? That's the, I'm gonna call that the shell set. So for each, you know, you see the little bottom of the shell right here, right here, right here. I'm gonna count that as two. So that's um, uh, the two and three repeat. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and then I've got 
one left. So what you're going to do is you're going to repeat rows two and three, two and three, two and three, until you get to the height you want. Now for my wash rag, without my border, I'm not, I'm not including the border. I have about six and three quarter inches, maybe six and a half. And then we work the border, which I will work the border with you guys. So work your wash rag. And for the dish towel, I worked rows two and three until it measured twenty inches. Straight at twenty inches without my border. Straight at twenty inches. But you guys can work it however you want to. And like I said, just as a refresher, for the dish towel I chained eighty-two and for the wash rag I chained forty-two, okay? So get your your piece done and I want you guys to end on row three okay so you're gonna work two three two three two three and end on row three so what I'm gonna do is off camera I'm gonna work this just a tad bit higher and then I'm gonna show you guys how we are going to work the border okay all right I will be right back okay so I have repeated rows two and three until I got to a decent height I like and like I said this is just my little sampler piece for the tutorial and I have just a tad bit of yarn left so I'm hoping I have enough to finish this okay so once you get your wash rag or your dish towel to whatever uh, height you need it to we are going to work a ending row and basically all it is is to straighten up this last row this row three right here remember we ended on row three so what you're going to do is chain one and turn, single crochet into that very first single right there. So I'm going to single right into there. And now we're going to single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to skip that last double and we're going to go straight into that chain two with one single. Now we're going to single crochet into the next single right there. See it right there? We're going to single crochet into there and then we're going to start that over. Single into the next four double. One, two, three, and four. Skip that last one. Go straight into that chain two space with one single crochet. Single crochet into that single crochet. And start that over. Single into the next four. Two, three, four. Skip that last double. Go straight into that chain two space with a single and single crochet into that single. And I want you to repeat that across the top. Single into the next four double. One, two, three, four. Skip that last double, single into the chain two space, and single into the last single. And into, that looked weird. Okay, so into the last single crochet, we are going to work three single crochet. So I've already got one, so I'm going to go two, and then I'm going to rotate my work, four, three. So now what I want to do is I'm going to mark that middle single crochet just to help keep my points. So what we did basically is we straightened up this top part right here, because if we didn't, if we just worked one double, or uh, one single, all into every stitch right across there what it what it does is it ends up making that top lay out like this where the rest of it lays nice and straight so what it would do is the top would be like full of stitches laying like this where the rest of this is just a nice pretty straight border so that's why we skip some on the top all right so we're just gonna go ahead and work all the way around Oh, I hope I have enough yarn for this. Worst game in the world, yarn chicken. All right, so now we're gonna evenly space out single crochets down this first side. And we're gonna come all the way down. 
All right, what I want you guys to do, if you hold your work just like this, like we're gonna work down this side. If you hold your work, what we are looking at is a chain with the five double into it. And then look right here, see one, two, three, those three back humps of those chains right there. See it? One, two, three. What I want you to do is lay this out and the one, two, three, that third chain back hump, mark that with a stitch marker because that is going to be our next corner. Okay? So right like that. And then on this side, we don't have to worry about it because our very first chain that we have right here with the slip knot, that's our next corner. And our next corner up here is going to be the same, the same single crochet that we just worked that, that we worked that first single crochet of our edge row into. So right into there, I'm going to put another stitch marker. So we have all four of our corners marked. Well, I mean, you don't have to mark this one, but you can, okay? We have all four of our corners marked. All right, so to evenly single or space out these single crochets, what I want you to do, we worked our three into that corner, but if we stop and kind of pull this edge apart, can you see there's, I'm trying to get this stretched, okay. See the hole here, the hole right here, and see that little bitty bar right there? So that you have a whole little bar hole. What we're gonna do, so we're gonna single crochet into the first hole right there. Single crochet into that next hole. See the bar separating it? Single crochet into that next hole. And then what I want you to do is single crochet into the same single, so if I rotate my work, that single crochet, see the two, the two posts of that double? Remember when we end row two, um, we end with two double crochets into the last single? That's what that is right there, is that last single. We're gonna single crochet into there. So what I want you to do is to look for the two posts. See this post and this post? Look to where they come together and right in there is where we're gonna work a single. And that's what we're gonna repeat down this side. Find that, that bar right there, single crochet into the top hole, into the bottom hole, and then look for the space, the single crochet where the two posts come together into right there. Top hole, there's that bar. Bottom hole, where the two legs of the double come together. Top hole, see the bar separating it? Bottom hole, the single crochet where the legs of the two doubles come together. Top hole, bottom hole, single crochet where the two legs come together. So that's what I want you to repeat all the way down this first side, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just stay with you since it's right here. So we have top hole, bottom hole, right there, right there, and then where the two doubles come together, right there. Top hole, there's the bar, bottom hole, where the two single crochets come together. Oop, it's two double crochets come together. And now we're to that corner. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of a tug so I don't lose that back hump, and we are going to work three single crochet into there. One, I'm gonna rotate my work as I go, two and three. Now I'm gonna stop and mark that middle single so we don't lose that corner. And this is what it sh your edge should be looking like. It shouldn't be all bunched up like this or it shouldn't be spaced out to where it wants to lay like that. It should be just a nice straight flat edge, okay? I just cracked my toe. <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna start working across the bottom. Um, I thought I wrote down in my pattern that, yeah, I got, okay, I got it, I found it. I'm gonna show you guys my scribbles for my rough draft of my pattern. It's quite rough, so I had, to, I couldn't find where I was. 
Okay, so what we are going to do now across the bottom, we are going to work two single into the chain right here, into this chain space. Go right in there with two single. And then we're going to single crochet into that big old hole that we got that those five double into. Just work one single. And you're going to repeat that across the bottom. Two single crochet in each chain space. One single crochet into the big stretched out chain. Two single into the chain space. One single into the big stretched out chain. Two single into the chain space. One single into the stretched out chain. Oops, I lost that. Two single into the chain space. One single into that stretched out chain. Two single into the chain space. One single into the stretched out chain. Two single into the chain space. One single into the stretched out chain. Now if you take your uh, your corner, you have to give it a little bit of a tug. Just get it to lay nice and pretty. Get your tail out of the way. We've got two single that we can work into this chain. Right like that. And there is the bottom of our work. So now into the the very corner right here where your beginning chain is, we're going to work our three single and I'm going to work over my tail there. One, rotate your work, two, and three. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to mark that middle single crochet so I don't lose my nice pretty corners just like that. Now we're going to single crochet up this side. And to do that, let's get my tail out of the way here. We are going to work one single into the big hole you see right there. And now I want to get, so if you look what our, oops, I'm sorry, I just bumped my phone. What you see, see those holes here, 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 and then there's more. What we're going to do is that is going to be the, the number one single crochet because we're going to work three single crochets, okay? So each set of three is going to start with number one, and number one is always going to be into that hole. There, there, there there and if you look it's where the row um, two where we work the four double crochet into that first single what that is is where all of those uh, four double crochet are worked into see the legs coming into it those are the four double crochets at the beginning of row two okay so we've worked our first single into the first one and now what I want is you to evenly space out two single crochets before that next hole so all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in, put a single, and then right underneath the, the next hole, put a single. Is my camera keep messing up, or what is going on? Okay. All right, so there's the next hole where all four of those double crochet come into, the, that single crochet. So there's one. And now I need two more between, until, or two more in there before that next, uh, Hole. So that's, I did one into the first hole, so we have two, three. One into the hole, two, three. One into the hole, and then I need two and three to be somewhere, doesn't matter where, just somewhere before that next hole. So there's one, two and three go between somewhere before that next hole. One into the hole, two and three, oh, didn't finish that. Two and three before the next hole, okay?
All right, one into the hole, two, dang it, come on, two and three. So now we're to this corner and we already have one single crochet in there. So what we're gonna do is work two single crochet into this, into this single crochet right here. One and two. So we have one, two, and then the very first one of this edge is the third single. So go ahead and slip stitch to that very first single crochet right there. And we're gonna stop and take a stitch marker and mark that single crochet. And just be aware that right there, what you see right here is not a single, that's the slip stitch. This is the first, second, and then the third single crochet is what we just slip stitched to right there. So right here is the second single crochet that we need to mark. All right, so if we stop, look at our, our four corners and how flat our edges are. Nice and pretty, right? All right, so the last round of our border, super easy. All we are going to do is work a double crochet into each single and then into each of our stitch markers, each of our corner single crochets, we're gonna work a double, chain one, double. So to start the row, we slip stitch into the first, so we're gonna chain one and single crochet right back into that, or I'm sorry, double crochet right back into that single crochet that we just slip stitched into, okay? So go right in there with a double. Something is going on with my camera and I, I don't know what's happening. All right, so all we're gonna do is double crochet into each single all across until you get to that stitch marker, okay? So I am going to just double crochet my across my work and I will be right back when I get to that stitch marker, okay? Okay, so I have one more single before I get to that stitch marker. Okay, so now into the single crochet with the stitch marker or the second of your three corner, your three single crochet corner, we're gonna work a double, chain one, double. And that, oops, and that is our new corner. Okay, now all you're gonna do is single crochet, all you're gonna do is double crochet into each single until that next stitch marker. Into your stitch marker, work your double, chain one, double, come over, get out of there. Just double crochet into each single until your next, next stitch marker. Work a double, chain one, double, double all the way until this next stitch mark, the last stitch marker and I will meet you guys there, okay? You guys can work the rest of this by yourself. I, you, I know you can. All right, I am gonna get mine done and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it to my last stitch marker. Well, I've got one more single I need to work into. Okay, so into the single crochet with my stitch marker, I'm gonna work my double chain one double. Chain one, go back in there with a double, and slip stitch to that very first double crochet. Chain one, pull up a loop, long enough to weave in, and cut, and we're done. Look at the little wash rag, how cute is that? <laughs> I love it. All right, I am gonna get my ends weaved in, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back and I've got my ends all weaved in. Oh, I am so happy with this set, you guys. This is, and you know the thing of it is, the beauty of this set isn't in the stitch, the stitch design at all. It's this yarn, that 24 seven cotton, beautiful yarn. I am in love with this. I don't know, is this intended for garments? I don't know, I guess it could be, but man, it, does it make some beautiful stitches. There's a train going by, I'm sorry. Um, just, I love this yarn. I am, thank you, thank you to my 
my good friend Johnny to tell for telling me about this. Here's my dish towel. I am so happy with this set. I'm gonna give it to my sister because she's gonna love it. I made her a set um, actually for her bathroom and she got a little wash rag to wash her face and she said it is amazing. It's absorbent it, and it scrubs good. Oh, I am so happy with this. Okay, so let me show you what I got here. I've got my bigger wash rag, which is a chain of, um, look at my notes here, 42. So eight, 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 eight times four is 40 plus your two chains. And then for this one is 32. Eight times four is 32. One, two, three, four. And then plus my two chains. So this is the chain of 34. And then this is eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 80. And then our two extra chains. So 82 for my big old dish, uh, dish towel, which comes out to, with the border, 15 and a half. by 21 and you like I said you guys can make it as big as you want I this is a decent size for me and then my little wash rag is seven well I don't I'm gonna say six and I don't know whatever the second to last line before the seven is <laughs> I don't know okay and by six and a half so almost seven by six and a half. Not quite square, but that's okay. And then my big wash rag is just about a little over eight and a quarter by seven and a three quarters. It's not quite square, but that's fine. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I cannot get, wait to give this to my sister. Okay, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed. Um, leave me a comment if you did. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't because I have got all kinds of content in my brain that I need to get to my fingertips, to my crochet hook, to my yarn, to you guys. <laughs> all right, hugs to each of you. I love you all. You guys are the greatest, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.